Let's go back to some of the machines over which you worked over the years, because the first one was the SSEC. If I right. get that right, that's the uh, selective, selective sequence electronic yeah. calculator. Well, what was the story behind the existence of that very computer? Why did it come to be? Oh, that was because uh, IBM cooperated in building the Mar in designing the Mark I at Harvard, mm -hmm. and Harvard gave them no credit, so that, uh, Watson was really mad about that. It was built right there on 57th Street. It filled a room that was about, let's see, uh, 50 feet wide by uh, 100 feet deep. Had a window opening on the street so mm -hmm. that people could look in, big black columns holding up in the middle of the room. Uh, had a huge uh, console with hundreds of, of toggle switches and mm. stuff like that. And then behind glass cases around the walls were uh, tape units and relays, uh, some of which would fall out as it was <laughs> operating because they were heavily used. Uh, it, was a, it was a fun machine. You know, it had a, you know, it would, it would make an error about every three minutes and you had to stop <laughs> and, and figure out, you know, how to restart the thing. What did they hire you to do? Um, programming. Mm. What else? Down to the machine level. What, yeah. what did programming mean for a machine like that? To a contemporary programmer, that would be so foreign. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was weird because you got, you had the whole machine to yourself mm -hmm. for months. Wow. <laughs> I'd imagine the room got a little warm, too. No, no, it was air conditioned. Oh. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, you know, the, the first problem I was assigned to was this one that uh, one of the machine's co-inventors had was working on. It was, called, it was in a, uh, um, a problem to calculate the position of the moon. Mm which is a very difficult thing to do. Had, you know, a, a Fourier series of uh, about a thousand terms or something.